So how is the COVID-19 pandemic and oil price shock going to affect our Calgary real estate market? At the Living Inner City Real Estate team, we've been getting this question quite a bit. And what we're here to do is to provide you with the most relevant and up-to-date information so that you can stay ahead of the curve. And by the end of this video, you're going to have a better understanding of what to expect. But stay around for the end because I'm going to provide specific advice for buyers, sellers, and investors. Let's dive right in. Properly has a great article out, so definitely check that out. But if we take a look at the data, let's first talk about the oil price shock. In Alberta, we are feeling the effects quite heavily because 25% of our GDP actually comes from the oil and gas industry. And just to give you a little bit of perspective, we actually employ seven times the amount of oil and gas workers as opposed to the rest of Canada. Now, if we take a look at the 2014 oil price shock and the following 12 months after that, we saw real estate sales volume drop by 26%, but sales prices did not decrease as much. So, interestingly enough, there are three zones, the west, northwest, and city center, which were hit the hardest at 2.7% price decrease, as opposed to 0.3% for the rest of Calgary. The main reason is these three zones actually employ the most oil and gas workers when compared to the rest of the city. Now let's talk about the second thing, which is the COVID-19 pandemic, which has caused uncertainty for would-be buyers and sellers in the market today. And it's changed the way that we approach the buying and selling process. So what we've done here, for example, is we've adopted some protocols to help our clients minimize their risks. For our buyers, we're doing a lot more video tours. And for our sellers, when a showing is requested, we have a list of questions to ask the buyer before that showing is confirmed. And as of March 23rd, showings across Alberta have dropped by 86%. Now, it's, that curve is starting to flatten out a little bit, but it's too early to tell if it has truly stabilized. If we look at the current pandemic in China and the data provided by Capital Economics over 30 major cities in China, we can see that sales volumes in 2020 is still well under where 2017 to 2019 was. But we're seeing a quick rebound on this number as China restarts the economy. And if we look at past epidemics like the 1918 Spanish flu and 2003 SARS outbreak, we see a pattern of about 10% drop in GDP over the course of the epidemic and then a recovery after it's been contained. And looking at during the SARS outbreak in Hong Kong, home prices did not fall significantly while sales volumes did as customers practiced social distancing. And then after the epidemic, there was a quick recovery back to previous expected levels. Now there is some positive news to share. Russia, US and Saudi Arabia are currently in negotiations to see if they can come up with a new OPEC plus deal to help balance the oil markets. And in Calgary, Homes are still selling right now, and over the last seven days, 154 homes were sold and 47 are conditionally sold. Now that 47 number is a bit underreported because when your home is conditionally sold, sellers have the option of whether they want to keep their listing as active. So to bring everything together, the combined effect of the pandemic and the oil price shock is uncharted territory for us. And if we look at Calgary real estate, sales volumes and real estate activities have declined significantly, but the degree and effect on sale prices will really depend on how long we're kept socially distancing. Here's my advice for buyers. If you're a buyer and you're still looking to move forward, you have to ask yourself how comfortable you are with your job security, especially in these times. And if you are, you can take advantage of great mortgage rates right now. But one of the recommendations I always give my clients is make sure you save six months of your expenses in your account. Advice for sellers. If you're needing to sell your home right now, you should list it sooner rather than later. The reason is, is because before all this began, Calgary already had a challenged market with oversupply, which meant that there was more competition on your listing, which put a downward pressure on price. Now with all this happening right now, what we're seeing is new listings have slowed down as people delay when they're going to list. And also we have less competition when you're listing. So your property will really stand out 
And that's why you should list right away and not wait for a while. But if you can wait, it might be a better idea and you should work with your realtor to be able to time that properly so that you can maximize not only profit, but minimize the number of days on market. If you're an investor, I would recommend that as long as you have the job security, you can still take advantage of this market and lower interest rates. Now, if most of your income comes from rent, then you need to make sure that your numbers make sense because right now you're mandated not to evict any current tenants or increase their current rent and to come up with flexible payment options for them. So make sure the numbers make sense. My name is Jasmine Lai with the Living in City Real Estate team, helping you keep real estate simple, especially in these tougher times. So let's continue to help each other. If you have a question or a comment, please leave that in the comment section below. And if you like this video, hit that like button and subscribe to our channel because we'll be coming up with more videos as the situation develops. Thanks for watching and see you next time.